Hey Capricorn, welcome to your ancestor channeled message session. I have a person coming through. Welcome in, guys. Uh, whoever this person is, this person is is definitely hard to live without. You will never forget the last time you seen this person. They keep sending you messages of of synchronicities and I'm seeing 888. Uh, you may have smelled this person or thought you smelled them I, I'm, and I'm seeing in your bedroom. Um, it was just my time. They're saying, um, and they know how much that they were loved by you. And this may have taken you a whole year to process is what I'm, I'm picking up on. Um, they want to let you know that they're seeing through your eyes now. Um, I'm picking up a child. Um, it may be a grandchild that has your eyes. They're telling me, I see your eyes through the eyes of another. Um, this child may be six months old. I'm picking up um, maybe six to nine months old. Um, March is of significance. And they're saying, please live life to the fullest. And they're saying it again. I see through your eyes. I'm sorry how my death has affected you. But I can be free now to to fly and to dance and to run and to be free. Just tell everyone I'm okay. There is a giant move that's coming uh, in for you and they want me to tell you that they're here for you through it. They'll be there with you through it. They'll move through this, this process with you. They're going to hold your hand through this process. And it's in thank you for holding their hand in their time of need. And they want to tell you that they miss you so much. You may have felt this person around. Um, I'm seeing between 6 in the evening to 8 in the evening. Somewhere up in them hours. Um, they're telling me that they wish. I see a stone. They wish they could have set things in stone. Or had. They wish they would have set things in stone. But to this person really, um, they loved God. And, and all they wanted ever really was to be with their God is really what they asked for, they're saying. And 10 a.m. they're showing me. Um, 10 to 11 a.m. And they want me to let you know that it's okay that you could not be with them. Okay. Um, something to do with black. Um... It's something around the house. It 
and they want they want to know they want to let you know that they see what you're going through and they're trying to guide you through this so this is the second time I'm picking up on on moving you through this guiding you through this and right now they're saying do not feel this way because literally I can fly now so airplanes or helicopters or something to do with maybe this is what their person your person wanted to learn or uh, to learn to fly to learn to live better um, something to do with April April, April, something to do with 2 p.m., uh, 4, 2, um, they want me to tell you that if you do pay attention, that they do come to you at nighttime, and I was seeing between 6 and 8 p.m., uh, you may, something to do with the color green, I see green, um, and they don't feel pain anymore, okay? And that's the third time they're telling me, they see with different eyes now. So they're seeing the bigger picture, the third time, so they're seeing the bigger picture of life. Um, and they just want you to know to live life through their teachings, not to forget what they ever taught you. Uh, any more messages in closing? You will start to have these prophetic dreams. Um, and this is them trying to teach you um, inability, okay, and, and trying to connect with you to feel these, these gifts that they're sending you. And to be grateful, um, there's something to do with money's coming through. Um, you're going to have enough money to pay your bills. Um, you're going to be grateful that everything worked out the way you wanted them to. And that you have the ability to utilize special tools and skills that they're going to send your way. Okay? And they want to always let you know that they're going to find a way to get this information to you. And that you'll be glad you had the courage to stand up for yourself. Okay? Be willing to wait because, uh, you know, you, you can't, you can't compromise yourself anymore. They're saying your self-esteem um, is going to start taking the hit. So um, they're, they're showing me waves of warning signs coming through. Uh, so if you're having trouble maintaining that consistent attitude, okay, don't worry that when their message comes through, it's kind of like, don't worry, it won't last, okay? Um, this is just an initial stage of connection, okay, with you of many more. Um, this leads to you establishing a union with them where both gears for you two are in motion. Wow, this is amazing. Um, they want you to have faith. They're showing me faith and to let you know that your work stands on its own. And don't let anything in your way and to release all expectations and all fear-based mentality, they told me. So, they're sending in these angels. They're showing me angels. And these angels are literally like waiting at your door, waiting 
for you to give them an assignment, okay? Uh, angels can't intervene in our world, guys, unless we ask them to, okay? Um, as Psalm says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, okay? And you may be seeing um, 911 because that is... Uh, Chapter 91, verse 11. Okay. And that they want me to tell you right now that they will never leave you, that your your tether is, is together, and it's strapped. They show me strapped with leather, like. It's, it's, it's so tied tight. It's tied so tight with strong material. There you go. Um, and that just to let you know that you're going, their next uh, sign, the next sign that you see to let you know that your dream is about, you know, meshing with them, they're showing me, um, is to let you know that they're going to send you a feather. And they want me to tell you to consider your life purpose, okay? And, and always keep the joy in your heart, okay? Because that's going to connect you to others in a healthy way, okay? All right, guys, thank you. They showed me the little heart symbolizing love. Much love going out to you. Uh, you must really capture this person's heart. All right, guys. All my love. I'm sending you namaste and thank you for staying till the end. Thank you.